The gram stain is quite useful in identifying different bacteria. It separates them into two main groups, those that are pink, gram negative, and those that are purple, gram positive. In order to do the gram stain, what we need to do first of all is turn the Bunsen again to the hottest part of the flame, sterilize your bacteriological loop until it's red hot, and then using that sterile bacteriological loop to take a loopful of distilled water. So I'm just taking a loopful and transferring it onto that slide, doing the same again and transferring it onto the second slide and then flaming your bacteriological loop again until it's red hot to sterilize it. It's important to label your slides before you actually put any bacteria on them. So just writing Staph aureus on the first one because we're going to be transferring Staph aureus onto here and E. coli on the second one because we're going to be transferring E. coli onto this one. Then using your straight wire this time flaming it until it's red hot and then using that wait until it's cooled a little bit to take again one colony of your bacterial culture so just choosing one nice isolated colony there and emulsifying that on the surface of your slide and leaving it to air dry okay flaming your straight wire again because this time we're going to pick a different bacterium E. coli this time picking a nice big colony so that's a nice one there got a little bit on the edge of that straight wire and then transferring it emulsifying it in that saline and again flaming that straight wire until it's red hot and then what we're going to do is leave these to air dry for about five to ten minutes Once your slide has had five to ten minutes to air dry, it should look like that. You shouldn't see any moisture on there at all. What you need to do then is then heat fix it. And you can do this by passing it through the Bunsen flame, the hottest part, for about three, two to three seconds and then touching the back of your hand. And if it's a little bit too hot, it's been heat fixed. Okay, and once it's heat fixed, you just pop it onto your staining rack, ready for staining. And again, the same with your second slide, should be nicely air dry, no moisture on there. Heat fixing it in the Bunsen flame for a couple of seconds until it's a bit too hot to put on the back of your hands. And then that can go onto the staining rack, ready for staining. These are the gram stains that we're going to be using crystal violet, 95% alcohol, iodine and saffronin. And if we start first by putting the crystal violet on, making sure you cover the area where you've put the bacteria onto the slide, and the same with the second slide. It's not crucial how long you, you leave the crystal violet stain on for, but no more than 60 seconds, and then wash off with some water or distilled water and what you should see is a stain looking like that because the bacteria have taken up the crystal violet stain. The next stage is adding your Lugol's iodine and again similarly it's not crucial how long you leave it on for but making sure that you cover the area where the bacteria are on the slide. And again washing off with your tap water in the bowl. So now what you've got on the slide is an iodine crystal violet complex. 
The next part where you add the 95% alcohol is the crucial bit because you don't want to leave the alcohol sitting too long on the slide because what it will do is decolorize all the bacteria. So what you need to do is add your alcohol and then straight away almost washing it off with your water. So you don't leave it on very long, certainly no more than about 10-15 seconds. And again adding your alcohol and then washing straight off with your distilled water or tap water. And then your final counter stain is the saffronin. And you can leave this on for about a minute. Making sure you've covered the area where the bacteria are. And once it's had its minute, then again washing off your stain. Next stage is you'll need to blot dry your slide. So using some blotting paper, take your slide, get rid of any excess and then pop it onto your blotting paper and then using a second sheet, popping it on top and making sure that you've blotted it dry, ready for when you add your oil. And doing the same with the second one, getting rid of any excess popping it onto the blotting paper in a different area to the first one and again blotting it dry with your fingers and leaving it to air dry for a few minutes to make sure all the moisture evaporates. Once we've stained our slide the next step is to put a drop of immersion oil onto the area where we've got the bacteria so just one drop should be sufficient an extra drop on there and then we're going to view it firstly on low power so if I take the slide now and pop it onto the microscope stage and just slide it in so it's fitting snugly so it's flat and then just making sure that the condenser is not too far up not too bright roughly about there and then I'm just going to focus firstly on low power, which is this lens here, the one with the yellow ring on it, until we can get something in focus. And once you've got something in focus, then switching to the high power oil immersion lens, which actually says oil on it, and usually has a white ring around it. And because we've already focused on low power, we shouldn't need to do very much focusing now on high power. So using the fine focus, which is this one on the outside, is just focusing that until you can see the bacteria nice and clearly under the microscope. And then you should be able to see whether they're pink gram negative or purple gram positive. So again, just having a look at that gram stain again, we're going to have a look at it first on low power. And as you can see, it's not in focus. So using your focusing ring, focusing it until you can see something in focus relatively clearly and there you can see the bacteria in the background staining a dark greyish colour and then what I'm going to do now is switch to the high power oil immersion lens and then refocus it using the fine focus this time hopefully to see the same bacteria but a much higher magnification. And if we turn the light up a little bit, you can see now, you can see those purple cocci, which were the staph aureus that we originally put onto the slide in clumps. So that's on high power under oil immersion.